Germany models scenario of possible attack of Russia on NATO. The German government has delivered a civil defense risk analysis report to the Bundestag outlining one of the likely scenarios of a possible conflict between an unnamed aggressor and NATO based on lessons learned from Russia's full-scale war against Ukraine. European Pravda reported this. According to the report, Russia's war against Ukraine has confirmed that modern warfare combines classical and unconventional operations, the latter including cyber attacks, disinformation campaigns and sabotage, an aggressor attack, hybrid and or using the full arsenal of modern armed forces in all dimensions on NATO territory is therefore a likely scenario, the report says. The report's authors then outline one of the scenarios for such an attack, emphasizing that it is only one of the possible scenarios and not specifying what the other scenarios envisage. This scenario divides the conflict into four phases. Phase one lasts for several years with varying degrees of intensity and involves hybrid influence by the aggressor. Espionage, cyber attacks, sabotage and attacks on vital and defense facilities and critical infrastructure. A key feature of this phase is that the hybrid influence is conducted covertly and cannot be immediately linked to the aggressor. Phase two lasts several months and involves the deployment of aggressor forces on NATO's eastern borders and the deployment of NATO deterrence forces in response. The hybrid influence continues but becomes more intense and less covert. Phase 3, which lasts for at least one year, involves open military aggression against NATO territory, selective attacks using conventional and non-conventional means including against targets in Germany, as well as possible disruption of satellites in space. Finally, during phase four, the aggressor's troops break through NATO defense lines into Germany. A full-scale armed confrontation in space is also envisaged. The scenario assumes that this phase ends with a ceasefire agreement no earlier than a few months later. In the report, the German government proposes that this scenario should be used as the basis for building a civil defense concept and that the relevant agencies can model further sub-scenarios for more effective defense. It was previously reported that the Bundeswehr is drawing up a new comprehensive operational defense plan for the first time since the end of the Cold War, taking into account the lessons learned from Russia's full-scale aggression against Ukraine. Russia prepares for China's invasion. Military rehearses use of nuclear weapons. The Russian armed forces have reportedly rehearsed the early stage use of tactical nuclear weapons in a conflict scenario with a major global power, according to leaked information from Russian military files outlining preparations for potential Chinese aggression. A threshold for the implementation of tactical nuclear weapons appears lower than ever publicly acknowledged by Russia. The cache comprises 29 classified Russian military files spanning from 2008 to 2014. Criteria for potential nuclear responses range from an adversary's invasion of Russian territory to more specific triggers such as the destruction of 20% of Russian strategic submarines armed with ballistic missiles. Despite the documents dating back a decade or more, experts assert their relevance to contemporary Russian military doctrine. Training materials depict scenarios wherein the Russian Eastern Military District simulated various incursions by China. Such exercises offer rare insights into Russia's view of its nuclear arsenal as a cornerstone of defense policy and its readiness to deliver a first nuclear strike under certain combat conditions. One exercise outlining a hypothetical attack by China notes that Russia dubbed the Northern Federation for the purpose of the war game, could respond with a tactical nuclear strike in order to stop the South from advancing with a second wave of invading forces. The order has been given by the Commander-in-Chief to use nuclear weapons in the event the enemy deploys second echelon units and the South threatens to attack further in the direction of the main strike, the document says. In a separate training presentation for naval officers unrelated to China, broader criteria for a potential nuclear strike are outlined, including repelling an adversary's landing on Russian territory, targeting units responsible for guarding border areas, or countering an imminent enemy attack with conventional arms. 
The threshold is defined as a combination of factors where losses incurred by Russian forces would irrevocably lead to their failure to stop major enemy aggression, a scenario deemed critical situation for the state of security of Russia. Ukrainian drones hit over 14,000 Russian targets in six months. Over the past six months, Ukrainian attack UAVs have hit over 14,000 enemy targets, including Russian equipment, electronic warfare, air defense, and fortifications. Ukraine's Prime Minister Denis Shmihal said this at a government meeting. In just six months, strike drones have hit more than 14,000 targets, Russian equipment, air defense, electronic warfare and fortifications. He said, according to the Prime Minister, Ukraine has revolutionized the development of drones. We adopted 20 laws and bylaws, and thanks to this, we scaled up production 100 times. Bureaucracy has been removed, and there is real competition among about 200 private companies in the UAV industry. $1 billion is provided in this year's state budget for the purchase of drones. And this is not the limit, he summarized. Shmihal also emphasized that the creation of the unmanned systems forces as a separate type of troops will maximize the potential of drones and added that the course of the war is changing the latest developments. Maritime drones paralyzed the enemy fleet in the Black Sea and guaranteed the security of the water logistics corridor, he said. On February the 11th, the head of the Ministry of Digital Transformation, Mikhailo Fedorov, said that Ukraine had caught up with Russia in terms of the number of long-range kamikaze drones produced.